Hi everyone, Melissa Wick here. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. This is a beautiful yoga practice where we're going to work with the energy in our bodies to uplift and let it rise into our heart space. So we're going to fill our container, our vehicle, our body with this prana, with this life force to really open up and expand and come back home to our light and let it be revealed. So this class, we're going to be working with pranayama, so slower inhalations to build the inhales, and we'll work with some lateral, some side bends, and some gentle heart openers. So if you like this class, please give it a thumbs up and comment below so I know how your journey is going. It always warms my heart. Subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. As always, I, I do appreciate it. So let's get into something comfortable, and let's get started. For this practice, you may want to have a blanket or a towel close by to pad up the knees as there are some sequences on the knees if they're tender. A blanket might be pretty useful. So we're going to just begin on our backs today. Let yourself lay down and have the knees bent, feet wide and knees fall in to touch. Your arms could be by the side, palms lift up and just give your chest a little lift and gently tuck the shoulders under. So the chest is nice and open. Maybe lift and lower the hips so the low back is lengthened. And then we'll close the eyes. And we'll invite in two deep cleansing breaths. So inhale through the nose. Let yourself fill completely up. And exhale it out through the mouth. One more like this. Fully inhale. And fully exhale, let it go. <sighs> Closing the lips. And just feel your body breathing here as you arrive into your practice. And let yourself fully come online. And we'll start to set up our breath. So let yourself breathe in and out through the nostrils, natural rhythm. And as you inhale, you feel the inhale rise from the pelvic floor, up the spine, and all the way into the collarbones. And as you exhale, the collarbones lower, the ribs lower, the breath travels down, the navel pulls in. So you're orienting your breath along the axis of the spine. So as you inhale, it comes in through the pelvic floor, it rises up the stomach, the rib cage, solar plexus, collarbones. And as you exhale, the breath and the awareness travels back down. So see here if you can make the breath as smooth and as even as possible. Equal length inhales and exhales. Just notice here if there are any interruptions in the breath pattern, if there's a hiccup along the way. I just want to smooth it out. And just bring in a few more breaths like this. Finish your last cycle of breath. We're going to gently bring the knees apart and heel toe your feet hip width distance, heels close to your glutes, and your palms will face down by the side. And we'll start to sync the movement with the breath and we're going to move intentionally. So as we inhale, you're going to press your feet down, gently engage the glutes, and start to lift your hips into a hip bridge at the same time your arms lift up and over. So backs of the hands will touch the floor behind you. And then as you exhale, the hips will lower, the arms will lower back down. So this is not rushed. So you're sinking the breath with the movement. Inhale, even, weight is even on both sides of the legs. 
This, you'll feel the breath travel up into the collarbones here on the inhale. As you exhale, the breath travels down as you lower the hips and you lower the arms. And keep going like this, but now slow down your inhale. So slow the inhale down, nice and smooth. You're feeling the whole way. And then a soft, natural exhale, you lower. So the inhale might be a little bit slower than the exhale. We're building the inhalation. Inhale. So as you inhale, there is a gentle, gentle pause at the top of the inhale. There is a natural tucking in of the chin in this shape. And then as you exhale, you lower back down. We'll do this twice more. So inhale, you're filling your vessel and your container up with this energy as it rises into the collarbones. Gentle pause at the top. Find ease as you pause. And then you exhale. Lower down. One last time like this. Inhale, we lift. Energy rises up the spine, in through the chest, up stops at the collarbones. And this time you're going to stay lifted, but exhale, lower your arms down. Good. And then continue here with your slow inhales. A gentle pause at the top, but if it's too much, you don't have to do the pause. And when you're ready, you softly exhale, but you stay lifted. So you're seeing how stable you can be here with your body focusing on your breath, your pranayama practice. And we're not forcing the breath, we're just allowing the breath to build naturally here with ease. You might start to feel your glutes and your hamstrings starting to awaken. Maybe you feel a little bit of heat. And then on your next natural exhale, you're going to slowly lower down. Roll through the spine. Release your glutes. Give yourself a moment to feel here. And we'll bring both knees in towards the chest. Hands behind the backs of the knees. And we're going to rock forward all the way up. You can rock a couple times if you'd like. We're going to cross the ankles at the top and bring your hands forward and come into tabletop all fours. This would be the time to pad up the knees if you have tender knees. So knees hip width distance, wrists under the shoulders. We're going to move into cat-cow but with a different variation. So on the inhale we'll release the belly and the chest opens, maybe the gaze lifts. Now as you exhale, you'll start to round. You're going to draw the belly in, tuck, 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 and then lift the knees, let it hover. So the navel's pulling up and in. Scoop the belly in. Slowly release the knees. Inhale to your cow. Relax the shoulders. And exhale as you round. Scoop the belly in. Let your knees hover. If this is too much on the wrists, you can always just make fists. Inhale. We come forward. Exhale, we round, lift the knees, hover, so the ankles are nice and strong. Last time through, inhale, open the chest. And exhale, round, lift the knees, hover. Gently bring the knees down. And then inhale here, your right leg's gonna extend back behind you. Navel pulls in, exhale, knee into your chest. Your spine stays stable and your hips are gonna stay stable here. You're just gonna start to swing your right leg forward and back, forward and back. So this is very airy and very light. And just notice the breath, if it's changed at all, can you still breathe smoothly in and out through the nose? So stable and hip, stable spine and stable hips. Good, for five, four, three, two, one. Extend the leg behind, flex the foot, and bend your knee. Again, we're gonna start to pulse the heel up, up, up towards the sky. Stable spine, up, 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 as if you're stomping or pressing your foot up towards the ceiling. Lift, lift, lift. Good, for five, four, three, two, 
One, release the knee down, keep it hovering, and then inhale, your right leg will go out to the side, and exhale, lower. Inhale out, exhale, lower. Keep going like this. Notice if your arms are starting to bend or if you're doing something funky with the spine. Can you be nice and stable? Out and lower. Okay. The next time that you're extended out, you're going to extend the right leg all the way out. Heel behind the toes and then come to stand on your knees. So your tailbone is lengthening down. Your low belly is zipping in. So you're nice and protected and safe. And we'll extend the arms out to the side. Now, on the inhalation, your right hand will come to the extended leg and the left arm's gonna reach up and over for a side stretch. So soften the shoulders, reach to the fingers. And then back to center, inhale. You're gonna slow down, or sorry, exhale when you come to stand. You're gonna slow down your inhalation when you arch your left arm up and over. So your chest and collarbone stay nice and open. And then exhale, back to center. Keep going like this. Slow inhale, nice and smooth. The left side of the body, the left lung is starting to enliven. You're rising, letting the energy rise up into your chest, into your heart. And then exhale, back to center. Just a couple more like this. How smooth can you make this and how stable can you be? And it doesn't matter how far down you go on your leg. Even with the arm just simply up, you're doing the work here. Bringing the energy up back to center. And then last one, slow inhale. And this time you're gonna stay here for your exhale. Good, support yourself. And just breathe smoothly here, inhale. Energy rises. At the top of the inhale, you can invite in a gentle pause, so a gentle tuck in of the chin. Feel the energy build in the heart space. And when you're ready to exhale, you gently release your chin, all the air out. So we're going to do that again. Good. And then on the next exhale, come back to stand. Lower your arms down. Just give yourself a moment to feel here, just to adjust. And then we'll bring the hands back down. Under the shoulders, right leg extends behind, navel in, inhale, shift slightly forward, exhale, bend the elbows, any amount, belly stays lifted, inhale, push the floor away, exhale, step the right foot through, between the hands, slow lunge, arms sweep up, thumbs back, pinkies forward, zip the low belly in, breath in here, when we exhale now, we're going to tuck the left toes under, power up the back leg, torso and arms swim through, roll the shoulders onto the back. And we'll move like this. Inhale, left knee down, arms sweep up. Exhale, hands come through, reach to the fingers, chest open, chin in. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, come through, and this time we're just going to hold. So your legs, your torso, your arms, back of the neck in one long line. Come back to your equal length, inhales and exhales. Nice and stable. And then we'll release the hands down. Your right hand's gonna come forward, bicep by the ear. So again, steady hips and spine. And your hips aren't gonna move. You're just gonna start to bring the right arm around, back behind you. You can follow your eyes to your fingers if you'd like. You're gonna start to make a circular motion here. Option to take the left knee down if you'd like. So the hips like to get into it. Can you keep them still and just Initiate this movement here with your breath. Super intentional. One last circle. Release your hands down. Extend the back leg. Prepare for warrior two. So left heel down, left toes fan out. Windmill the arms open. Right knee in line with second and third toe. Tuck your right glute under. On an inhale, we're going to extend the right leg. Gather the palms right into the heart space. This is our Kriya. And then exhale, bend your knee, extend the arms. Keep going like this. And then the slower that you move your breath, that you use your breath, 
the slower your body is going to move and vice versa. So make a deal with yourself. How slow and intentional can you make this? So on the exhale, the arms extend. On the inhale, you gather it all in right into the heart space. And this is the last one. Back to warrior two. Look beyond your right fingers. So you're engaged, but yet you're at ease. And then we'll come into extended side angle. So left for, right forearm to right thigh, left arm up towards the sky, or arch, bicep by the ear, fingers facing, palms facing down. Option to take your right hand and grab your right ankle. So your gl right glute is tucking under and you're leaning the chest back here. Good, breathing into your left side body. And then come back to warrior two, right knee stays bent and just flip reverse. Enlivening the right side body. So we're working with laterals today. Good, and then on your next exhale, you're gonna cartwheel the hands down, frame your right foot and step back, downward facing dog. So if you like to pedal, get the pedals out of the way. You can bend your knee, take your dog for a walk, or just be still. When you're ready, find stillness once again. And your knees do not have to be straight. You can keep a bend in them. This is about the spine. So find your breath pattern again, in and out through the nose, the breath traveling along the spine. Good, and then we're gonna inhale and come forward into high plank. Exhale, we're gonna lower all the way down to our bellies. Point your toes. Do three gentle cobras, so tops the feet down, lift the belly, roll the shoulders on the back. Inhale, cobra. Try not to use the hands. They're there for support, but don't push on them. And then exhale, lower. Inhale, we rise, chin in slightly. And exhale, lower. One more. Inhale, lift, enlivening the back body. Exhale, lower down. Okay, now we're gonna extend the right arm out to the side, to the right, palm facing down. So your right arm is in line with the shoulder blade, coming into a shoulder stretch. So right ear down onto the ground. Your left elbow is bent. You're gonna start to roll onto your right side body. Your feet can stay stacked. You can bend your left knee behind if you'd like. You can stay here with the arm, or if you really want, you can reach the left arm up. So you decide how far you go. Check in with what your edge is. You never want to feel sharp pain. Just breathing into your shoulder, into your chest. Smooth breaths. Beautiful. And with care, we'll come back to center. You're gonna slide your hands down towards your upper ribs. And on an inhale, your choice to come in to cobra or push up to upward facing, lift the knees, gently engage the glutes, chest open, and exhale, downward facing dog. And then we'll lift the heels, gently bring the knees down. If you need the blanket, bring the blanket back here. And we'll extend the left leg out behind us. Draw the belly in, try not to collapse in the shoulders. Gently push the ground away. And you're gonna bend your knee in towards your chest and start to swing. Very light, very airy and gentle. So again, stable spine and stable pelvis. Can you still maintain smooth breath? Keep going for five, four, three, two, one, hold it out, flex the foot, bend your knee. And here we go with the pulses, up, 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 up. 
Okay, have you stopped breathing? <laughs> Sometimes I do here. Keep pausing for five, four, three, two, one. Bring the knee in, but keep it hovering. Point the toe, inhale, extend out to the side. Exhale in, inhale out, exhale in. Keep going. Okay, the next time that you're extended out, extend the leg completely, heel behind the toes. Come to stand on your knee, tail down, low belly scoops in, arms extended out to the side. And then from here, we're gonna inhale, arch the right arm up and over toward the extended leg, soft shoulders, open chest. Exhale, come back up to stand. Slow inhale. Nice, maybe you inhale for the count of four or five. And then a natural exhale, back up to center. Twice more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, center. So again, on the inhale, energy is rising up to the collarbones. And this time we're gonna hold here, hold at the top of the inhale, gentle, gentle tuck in of the chin. Feel the light expand in your chest. You're gonna stay in the shape, but just release your chin and exhale. So the Jalandhara chin lock is so subtle. And keep going like this, adding the retention on the top of the inhale. Can you find ease as you do this? Just enlivening the right side body, filling our vessel and our container with light, with prana. And then we're gonna release. Come back to center. Give yourself a moment here to just feel. Good, and then we're gonna bring our hands back down. Extend the left leg behind you, inhale. As you exhale, shift slightly forward, bend the elbows back, mini chaturanga, belly stays lifted. Inhale, push the floor away. And exhale, step your left foot through between the hands. Low lunge, thumbs back, pinkies forward, tail down, low belly scoops in. Now on the exhale, you're gonna tuck the right toes under, power up the back leg, torso and arms, swing through, roll the shoulders onto the back, chin in. Inhale, right knee dips down, low lunge. Exhale, swim through, nice and stable. Inhale, low lunge. And exhale, this time we hold. So nice long line here. Energy reaching through the crown of the head. Reach through your fingers, engage the triceps. Good, and then we're gonna release the hands down. And the left arm is gonna extend forward, bicep by the ear. Try not to let the hips move. You're gonna start to circle the left arm around, back and around. You can always bring the right knee down if you'd like to. Make sure you can still breathe. So if your breath is restricted, then you just gotta ease off in the pose. Finishing off your last circle, you're gonna re-engage the back leg and prepare for warrior two. So right heel down, right toes fan out, bending the left knee, firm the outer edge of your right foot. Left knee in line with second and third toe. You're drawing that left glute underneath, back leg strong. On the inhale, you're gonna extend your left leg, gather your palms right into your heart space. And exhale back to warrior two. So keep going like this. Very intentional, slowing down your breath because where the mind goes, that's where the energy flows and vice versa, they're intertwined. Where the energy goes, the mind, where the energy flows, the mind goes. One more time, inhale, you gather the prana and life force right into your heart. And exhale, warrior two, pause here. Find softness as you gaze beyond your left fingers. Extended side angle, left forearm to left thigh, right arm to the sky, or along the ear, bicep by the ear, 
Maybe the left hand wraps around your left ankle. Scoop the left tail under. Soften the shoulders, chest open. Breathe into your right side body. Slow breath. And then back to warrior two, legs stay as they are, flip your left palm, reverse your warrior. Left side body. Beautiful, let's windmill the hands down, frame the left foot, step back, downward facing dog. Take an inhale here, and a soft exhale. Okay, lift the heels, ripple forward to high plank. On the exhale, we're gonna lower all the way down to the belly, point your toes. Now, your arms are gonna come out into cactus, so bending at the elbows, palms face down. Tops the feet, press down, and you're gonna scoop the low belly in. So you're gonna lift, so the pubic bone comes down towards the mat. Now we're gonna work with some stability in the back. As we inhale, we're gonna lift the forehead, the chest, the elbows, the palms, but chin stays in. Inhale, you're gonna swim the arms up, palms still face down, extend the arms up in front of you. And then exhale, re-bend the arms back to cactus. Inhale, smooth breath, extend. You can lift the legs if you'd like, but if that's too much, bring them back down. Exhale, you bend the elbows. How stable can you be? Inhale, reach the arms up. So you're enlivening the spine, enlivening the back. One more wherever you are. Good. Gently release. And we'll extend the left arm out in line with the shoulder. Palm faces down, left ear down, bending at your right elbow. And start to roll onto your left side body. Your legs can stay stacked or you can bend the right foot and place it behind the left leg, maybe the right arm up towards the sky. Just find ease as you breathe into your chest and your shoulder. Gently release, come back to the belly. Hands by your upper ribs. On your inhale, option to come into cobra or you push up into upward facing. Extend the arms, shoulders back, gently engage the glutes, legs nice and strong. And exhale, downward facing. Just a couple breaths here, steady your gaze. Beautiful, let's bend the knees and look between the hands and then walk or step to the top of your mat and fold. Inhale, smooth breath, halfway lift, open the chest, chin in. Exhale, fold. Inhale, we'll rise all the way up to stand. And exhale, hands down by your side, palms face forward. Cycle of breath here. Let's continue, inhale, arms sweep up. And exhale, lead with your chest, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, flow. Chaturanga or down to your belly. One breath per movement, inhale. Cobra or upward facing. Exhale, downward facing. Five breaths here. Long spine, glide the shoulders down the back, wrap your upper arms around and in. Good, you're gonna walk your hands to the back of your mat. You're gonna bend the knees here and bring your hands behind you, interlace them. Draw the shoulders onto the back, release your head and bring your awareness to your belly. It's a nice shoulder stretch, letting your arms come as far forward as possible as it feels okay for you. Keep 
Keep your hands interlaced. Inhale, halfway lift, so your arms come to your back. Chin in, strong legs. Exhale, we fold. Release your hands down, bend your knees. You're gonna slowly start to roll yourself up. Head and arms dangle. Head is the last to come up. When you get to the top, you're gonna roll your shoulders onto your back. Hmm. Now, we're gonna work with some balance here. You're gonna step into your left foot and prepare for dancer's pose. So right palm flips up, bend your right knee and grab a hold of the inside of your right foot. Now with your left hand, you can make a mudra, your thumb and pointer finger can touch. Sometimes that's really nice for focus or your palm could face forward or palm could face in, whatever you like. And then notice here before you start to find your expression, full expression, is your head down? Are you kind of looking down and crunching in? You want to be proud and stand tall and maybe bring your eyes along the horizon. Start to kick your foot into your hand and don't worry about what it's supposed to look like. Just rather feel the pose here so you're feeling grounded in your feet but you're also feeling uplifted here, like expansion in the heart space. Beautiful, With, without uh, letting your right foot touch the ground, just release, bend your left knee, cross your right ankle, let it clear your left thigh in a figure four shape. You're gonna sit back in your chair, palms can touch. And if you need more balance, you can always hold on to the wall or bring your hands down on blocks for more stability. And find your breath here. So as you inhale, you'll feel your belly expand. As you exhale, the belly pulls in. Nice and still. Good, with lots of care, we're gonna come back to stand. Almost there, reach your arms up and just kick your right leg forward. Reach the heel and lower your hands and lower your foot. Palms face forward. Close your eyes and just feel your feet rooted into the earth, grounded, and feel the vibration of energy moving through you. Your mind is at rest. The energy is radiating and you're filling up your cup. When you're ready, you're gonna step into your right foot. Left palm up, bend your left knee, grab a hold of the inside of your left foot. Maybe make the mudra with your right hand, pointer finger and thumb, or palm open or palm in. And then again, find your eyes along the horizon. Be uplifted here, proud chest. And then you start to kick as much as you'd like here. As you inhale, you'll feel your ribs expand. As you exhale, there's a sense of grounding. And then with care, we release without letting the left foot touch the ground. Bend your right knee. Let your left ankle cross your right thigh. Palms come together or use your props around you for support. Sit back in your chair, navel in. And then connect back to your breath here. As you inhale, belly expands. As you exhale, the belly pulls in. How still can you be? Focusing on one point with your eyes. And then with care, we're gonna come back up to stand. Almost, last stretch here. Arms extend up, 
kick your left heel forward nice and tall and exhale lower the leg lower the arms give yourself a moment to feel beautiful this is the last flow so inhale arms will reach up exhale will lead with the heart and fold walk your hands back downward facing dog you can stay in down dog if you'd like one last flow or cleanse or vinyasa you can come forward and take your cobra or upward facing and we'll meet back in downward facing dog and let's bend the knees look between the hands and then hop or just step to the top of your mat cross your ankles come to a seat we're going to slowly roll ourselves down onto our backs so you can extend the arms forward really curl the pubic bone in let your low back touch the mat first slowly coming all the way down and then we'll bring the soles of the feet together Toes touch, knees wide. You can always slide a couple pillows under the legs if you like. One hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. Maybe lift the shoulders a bit, chest open. Relax them back down. Close your eyes. Just tune into your breath here. As you inhale, you feel your body inflate into the palms of your hands. And as you exhale, feel this sense of release. And if there's anything here that is not serving you, that perhaps feels heavy or negative or toxic, use your exhale as a vehicle, this downward energy of releasing and letting it go and let it absorb into the earth. And then we'll bring the hands and gently close the legs. And we'll come into a restorative waterfall. So you can use a block to slide underneath your tailbone, your sacrum, that bony part above your glutes, and rest your hips on the block and extend your legs up to the sky. Or if you want to come into shoulder stand, you're welcome to do so as long as it's not overstimulating because we're really coming towards the end of the practice. You can even bring your legs up against the wall. Sometimes that's really nice and restorative. So whatever your variation, you can come into that with ease. If you're in shoulder stand, take the Hatha style version where your legs are on an angle and you're not totally, totally stacked. It's just a lot less pressure on the neck. Just bring your awareness to your belly wherever you are, nice and smooth. If you're in shoulder stand, maybe you want to come into halasana or plow. If you're in your plow or shoulder stand, you're going to slowly roll yourself down if you're by the wall come back to your mat if your legs are extended and you're on a block we're all just going to start to bend the knees plant the feet down remove your prop just give yourself a moment here and then we'll extend the left leg out long on the mat your right knee comes in 
arms extend out to the side, palms up, and then place your right foot on top of your left thigh, just above your knee, so not on the knee, but just above. Take an inhale here. As you exhale, you're gonna start to twist over to the left. So your right foot's on the thigh, you're just gonna roll over to the left. We're gonna make this twist a little dynamic. And then inhale back to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale, center. Over to the left. One more time. We're just releasing any leftover tension in the low back and the spine. And this time we'll stay in the twist. You can bring your left hand to hold the right thigh gently. Maybe slide a pillow or a block under your right thigh. Head is wherever you want it to be, whatever is the most comfortable. Center and extend your right leg long onto the mat. Bring your left knee in, left foot on top of your right thigh above the knee. Inhale to prepare and exhale over to the right. A few more times. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, center. Exhale to the right. Last one, inhale, center. And exhale over to the right. This time we'll hold maybe right hand to left thigh. Find ease and try not to pull your way down to the floor. The body will unfurl naturally. Let the left shoulder be heavy. Beautiful, come back to center. Bring both knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a nice hug. And then we'll extend out long into Shavasana. So take up as much space as you'd like. Arms wide, palms up, adjust your hips. Maybe lift and lower your chest. Use whatever props you like. Cover yourself up if you're feeling chilly. Release any and all effort of your breath. Let your whole body rest. There's nothing left for you to do here. Just let yourself fully receive your practice, your efforts. And just let your ankles be heavy in your calves, rest into the earth. Your thighs are heavy. Your hips are open. And your stomach is soft and relaxed. Your arms are held by the earth. And there's no tension in your fingers. Your chest is spacious and open. Your throat is open and soft. And your head is heavy and held. And the energy and the prana within you is radiating in balance and harmony. 
as you lay here in this state of receivership. Noticing what it feels like to be at home in the center of your multidimensional being and know that you always, always have access to this. You can begin your return by deepening your breath. And start to move in any way that feels good to you to start to reawaken move your fingers your wrists bring your arms up overhead for a nice big stretch bring your knees in toward you giving yourself a good hug Roll yourself to one side, pausing on your side. And just take a few deep breaths here into your upper back.
And when you're ready, you're going to come up to a seat. Whatever seat is comfortable for you. So we can close our practice together. And we'll bring the palms to touch in front of our heart space, like bowing of the chin. Enjoy your breath here. Enjoy these moments with yourself. Just check in with how you feel. This is without judgment from the witness. How's your energy? How's your emotional tone? And how are you experiencing your mind? And how is your heart? Just know that there is this light that exists within you that is always there. Beneath the layers, it is always there. It's always available to you. I thank you so much for your trust and for sharing your practice with me and for your support. From my heart to yours, namaste.